All right, today I'm going to be showcasing two exercises for building big arms natural. And I'm also going to be talking about the importance of getting stronger at these exercises for building big arms and how strong you should be for your bone frame. All right, so the first exercise we're going to take a look at is the standing dumbbell tricep extension. Uh, this is a great exercise for building the triceps. Um, the way your hands are placed is uh, causes the. It's very hard to cheat on this exercise. The way the hands are placed, flat against the plates, so your triceps will be coming in like crazy, and you don't have to worry about worry about it turning into a overhead press or anything like that. Sometimes you end up with a hybrid with a barbell. You can end up with a hybrid movement, like a press. And the tricep extension. You don't want that. With the dumbbell, very easy to keep the elbows back due to the hands being flat against the, the weight. Alright, so a good goal with this exercise is to get up to, let's say you have a six inch wrist. You might want to get up to about 130 pounds for uh, maybe three sets of eight. That'll give you maybe a 16 inch arm, which would look massive on a small bone guy with a 6 inch wrist. So, so about 130, 130 pounds for, for reps, 5 to 8 reps, a couple of sets. That'll give you some huge triceps for your bone frame. <clears throat> and you'll, you'll also look a lot bigger than guys bigger than you standing next to you. Know, depending on your body fat or whatever. And, uh, so for a guy with maybe seven inch wrist, I'd say about 140 pounds on this exercise for same thing, three sets of five to eight reps. That'll, uh, that'll automatically yield huge triceps due to the strength within them. And a guy with eight inch wrist should go for probably 150 pounds on this exercise, the same reps, five to eight reps. That'll give you maybe like 18 inch arms. And uh, that's uh, that's basically it. All right, so the next exercise I'm gonna look at is the, the inclined dumbbell curl. So uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get into the same thing. I'm gonna say you do, say you have a six inch wrist, you, you wanna work up to getting 65 pound dumbbells for three sets of five or whatever. You know, if you have seven inch wrist, you wanna get up to 75 pound dumbbells for reps, three sets of five or something like that. And if you have eight inch wrist, you'd wanna get to like 85 pound dumbbells for three, you know, three sets of five. That'll give you a, about an 18 inch arm. And yeah, so the guy with a 6-inch wrist, if he has 16-inch arms, look massive if he has a 16-inch arm. A guy with a 7-inch wrist with 17-inch arms, same thing, look massive. 8-inch wrist, 18-inch arms, they all look about the same. And uh, so, uh, yeah, a lot of, lot of uh, you know, a lot of uh, programs that just say, oh, do three sets of this, three sets of that. They don't tell you how to get strong, it's, uh, especially at at dumbbell curls. So a smart approach would be to, you know, cycle your reps, you know, spend some time doing, you know, start maybe like three sets of 15 on your incline curls, stick with that. <clears throat> Try to add weight, you know, maybe get some fractional plates, one pound plates. That'd be a smart way to do it. And, uh, yeah, you know, let's try to get stronger in the 15 rep range for a couple weeks. And spend another couple weeks trying to get strong in the 10 to 12 rep range. Then uh, 8 to 10 rep range, try to get strong. And then uh, the five, to, 5 to 8 rep range. So, you know, try to you know, make increases like 1, 2 pounds every month on those exercises. That would be a smart way to do it. Instead of just going to the gym, trying to tear the muscle down, overtraining and all that nonsense. Uh, 
And uh, so yeah, if you, if you you know if you make a small increases over time, you know it'll it'll help you a lot as far as growing your arms out. So same thing with the overhead uh, dumbbell extension. You know, little increases here and there. You know, you can spend some time, 15 reps. Just work your way down, five reps. Add little little weight increases when you can. Then start all over again. So you're gonna try and build the momentum, like right? momentum. So after you do your, after you cycle down to low reps, go back to the high reps. Do the same thing over again. So you try to build the momentum. And uh, that'd be the smart way to do it. You know, you know, a lot of people uh, they're very impatient. You know, they want to make fast uh, gains, but that's not gonna happen. You gotta you gotta spend at least a couple of years working at that, trying to get stronger at those. And I'm not saying that those are the, these are the only exercises you should do. You know, you should do some kind of wrist curls and forearm work. You could add in a couple of other arm exercises, but you don't need to be, you know, do too much. As long as you're getting stronger, at one or two exercises, that should yield growth in your arms. All right, so that's it. I'm out of here. Talk to you later.